Jasmine, Lauren, and Tina, I definitely have their back. But when I say I'll have their back, I mean I'll probably be in a different room and have their back. Hey, hey, some more love bugs. You have now tuned into my Bad Girls Club 14 recap. Guys, be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Also, be sure to share this video wherever you like to share videos and give it that good old thumbs up, okay? So, we're going to just pretty much go through this, but not every single thing that happened, because not every single thing was that popping to me. So, yeah, we start back from the argument that we left off from last week where Jayla, I ain't going to say her whole name because y'all was all telling me how to say it, but thank you definitely for putting the phonetic spelling in there. Uh, I was like, Jayla, Mina, Sha, Sinead, <laughs> or some crap like that. So, anyways, um, Jayla, her and Lauren, they have an argument about the black and white, well, black thing, and I'm just like over that. And it was just continuing on, getting really loud. Jasmine said that she can relate to Jayla. You know, she has like a moment. She can relate to Jayla as well as the other two girls because she always felt like she wasn't enough for the white girls and she wasn't black enough for the black girls. And you do see her complexion. Her complexion is extremely light where she's she's not she would never be considered a white girl just because like the way that she acts she has you know just you can tell she's not a white girl but then it's like a lot of the black girls would say you're not really black because your skin complexion as well so she probably that's the reason maybe why she overcompensates with the anger just to show that she's like ghetto and hood and try to relate more to the black side since she's not white so, yeah, I mean, I totally can understand what she's saying and why. And she, then she also says that she's jealous of the other two girls and the twins. She's jealous of the twins and Jayla. And I'm like, girl, you don't tell people that you're jealous of them. You don't do that. Especially if you're talking about you a bad chick and you a boss and all this. That's the last thing that you would do because people would use that as ammunition against you. But we're going to get to that. So now Lauren says that she's bored and she is ready to spice things up and she starts messing with Jayla. And I'm like, come on, here we go. It's always somebody that gotta start. I, I guess that's part of this. Like, they tell them, like, go ahead, you gotta mess with people. You know, that's what I kind of feel like. So the twins, they had some brown, muddy looking doo doo stuff on their face. It was like a mask, you know, one of those masks that's supposed to, but it was just different. And it's then. Uh, Lauren ends up saying something and they kind of go back and forth with her and they look like they were about to fight but they didn't luckily you know they just kind of did like one of these bumps bump types of things I guess that's the thing like you just have to make sure you don't fist, physically punch somebody because I think that's when you can get out of the house but because that's what kind of appears to or seems like to me so anyways Jasmine and Tina they decided to stay home instead of going out to the club or going out to eat I think they went out to like a nice little diner um not diner like a nice little place to eat because I don't I think they were eating with Jayla and the twins because they wanted to kind of exclude Lauren from it because they were just saying like you're banned you can't come that's it I'm like first of all you don't own the state if I want to go outside I'm gonna go outside like I don't know how Lauren accepted that but okay you know Come on, like at the end of the day, ain't the car for everybody, not just who is in a little clique. There's already little cliques being formed, the pretty girls versus the basics, I guess you can say. So Jasmine, Tina, and Lauren, they decide to be stupid. They're like taking their brushes, their, the girls' makeup brushes, the ones that left, the twins and Jayla, and just kind of rubbing their butts with it and just... I was just like, that is like super gross. That's, that's warrant for somebody to get knocked out because you gotta put those stuff on your face. Who wants somebody's booty juice on their face? That is not the business. That's not hot. So, but when the girls come back, they didn't even realize because the other ones were sleeping. So they didn't even understand exactly what it was that had, um, that was going on, you know? So then the person that looks the hardest, who was Kat, she was kind of breaking down, like talking on the phone and breaking down because... She was saying that she's worried that she might get really drunk and just hurt somebody. I'm like, girl, who do you think you are, the Incredible Hulk or something? I gotta see her fight because the way she talking, she sound like she got hands. Like she be boxing for a living or something. 
That's the way it kind of sounds. Um, who was the one that was so freaking aggressive? I forgot her name now. Damn it, I could see her face. I just can't. And she had a kid and everything. And she had came back to the All Stars and then she ended up losing. She almost damn near broke her leg up. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking about. So now one of the twins, she puts her hands in Lauren's face when they get because when they all went out to like, I think this was around the time when they went to go do the belly dancing. They came back and then everything just started going left. One of the the twins had put her hands in Lauren's face and. <laughs> Yo, did y'all see how the security guard, he was trying to stop everybody from fighting, he was trying to stop the twin, yo, he came sliding on the floor, no lie, like he was a freaking superhero, I was like, yo, I had to rewind that thing like four or five times, I was like, thank goodness for DVR, because that was hilarious, that was my joke, that's all I needed for the night to have a good time, like that was freaking amazing, you know what I'm saying? So then following that, Jasmine, she walks up nice and slow, and she walks up the stairs, and then she goes to try to hit the girls. And then the girls, they start talking about, like I said, she gave them the ammo. You see? Now it comes back to haunt you. They're like, oh, you're jealous of us. You're jealous. You can't tell us nothing. Like, they was just taunting her with things that she had told them. That's why you don't let people see a weak side, especially when you don't know people like that. Like, you just met these people. And... Jasmine, she seems up and down. Like, she confuses me. I like her voice. I like the fact that she kind of reminds me of Judy because Judy's one of my favorites. Shout out to the Pisces, you know. <laughs> but I just feel like her, she just, I don't know, she's flip floppy. It's like one minute she's over here, next minute she's over here. And she seems like she's easily persuaded to, to like join teams or cliques. Like, she's trying to say that she does her own thing, but then it kind of seems like she doesn't. Because there was a scene later on where, like towards the end, where everyone had apologized to each other. And she was talking to Jayla once again after she was just down with the other team with Tina and, and um, Lauren. Now she's over here with Jayla talking to her. Jayla's telling her that Lauren has been manipulating her and doing this and that. And she's like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Like, I feel like it's like you just need to sit down and talk to her and then she'll believe anything you say, you know? And she'll kind of empathize with you and then she's on your team. She kind of confuses me. I don't know. But um, definitely I think the twins might be a jump, jumping group. I'm not really for the whole jumping group. I mean, I, I understand it's your sisters and everything, but I still think that jumping is wrong. You know, I'm, I, the only way that I can see somebody coming in that's, related to you, your family, your friend, or whatever, is if they're trying to help break things apart. But I don't think they should ever, like, really be hitting the other person unless there's some jumping situation going the other way around, you know? But that's pretty much it. It was not too much going on, going down in this particular episode. Laura, Laura the Life Coach is here. And, yeah, you know, she definitely helps to change lives or at least make them see things that they didn't see about themselves. I don't know if they always really change or not, but... At least they understand certain things that they may not have understood for that moment, you know? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters!